Starting with his 1981 Lincoln Sense, struck on 1981 P. Kennedy of Dollar. Grade at Miss Day 64 by PCGS. Unsinkable Mint Error. A one sided cent strike is centered on the half dollar host coin. The half dollar forms a prominent die cap bowl shape, distorting the reverse design. No element of the reverse Lincoln cent design is present, suggesting that this piece was struck between an avoir cent die and piece of clothes or other material. Set in the surfaces display nickel gray color. Sold on July 15, 2021 for $13,200. Moving on to the silver 1937 Washington Quarter with double die verse. Gray that means they 65 by PCGS. Heavy die doubling is evident on the motto and the date of the important guidebook variety, which is rare in mint state. PCGS reports only 7 uncirculated examples, few of which rival the present gem in terms of quality and eye appeal. This piece is brilliant and satiny with vibrant mint luster. A loop is required to see a few microscopic surface grazes that prevent an even finer grade from PCGS. Sold on July 6, 2019 for $14,400. This is 1921 Alabama half dollar, grade at Miss Day 67 by PCGS. This superb gem example of the former variety is among the finest certified and is a major rarity as such. The strike is sharp and each side displays frosty original mint luster. Level of champagne toning graces the reverse and central obverse, while the obverse margins exhibit lavender and aquamarine color. There are no significant abrasions. Sold on May 6, 2022 for $14,400 at Heritage Auctions. This is one of the most difficult wheat Lincoln sets that exist in MS67 condition, 1930-1958. Most examples come weakly struck with nicks and scratches that are extremely difficult to find. Any examples grading MS65 or higher. Even original rolls contain mostly MS63 and lower grade coins. In MS67 conditions, they are truly scarce, with less than a handful known to exist and none being finer. This awesome penny with potent red luster ended up selling for $2160 just a couple of days before on November 15, 2022 at Heritage Auctions. Here is attractively toned wartime quarter, 1944 Washington quarter at Miss Day 68. A common Washington quarter issue that is incredibly rare in high superb gem condition, presenting a significant challenge for registry collectors. This piece is singularly distinctive, showing vivid multicolored toning overall with satiny luster and appreciable sharp definition. The coin is further set apart from its peers by CAC green label. No other 1944 Washington quarter in this grade has been CAC endorsed. Sold on August 24, 2022 for $16,800. I'm sure most of you know wartime pennies struck on wrong planches are extremely valuable and make large premiums at auctions. They are worth big money even at circulated or clean condition. This one is no exception, 1944 penny struck on a zinc coated steel planche. Clean coin with AU details. AU stands for coins that have been briefly in circulation, about to uncirculated. A rare 1944 Lincoln set struck on a leftover steel planchet from the year prior. 1944 cents struck on leftover steel planchets are known from all three mints, but those from Philadelphia Mint are the most often seen and the ideal choice for collectors seeking a single representative of the error. The higher Philadelphia population is due to the fact that at that facility, leftover steel cent planchets from 1943 were still in active use to produce. Belgian 2 franc coins, creating a wider window of opportunity for errant planchets to become mixed with the normal bronze scent planchets. This AU level example is sharp and has bright zinc silver surfaces. Hairlines on each side betray cleaning. Sold on October 7, 2021 for $16,800. Here's another incredible error coin, 2014D Sacagawea dollar milled with presidential dollar. Rate as AU58 by NGC. A mule is perhaps the most fascinating mint error known to modern collectors. The verse is from an ordinary 2014D Sacagawea dollar, but the reverse is that intended for the presidential dollars of that year. 
A pressman at me state when changing out the dice on one of the presses inadvertently selected a presidential dollar reverse rather than appropriate native hospitality reverse. The mistake was likely noticed shortly after the press resumed operation and mint practice would have been to destroy all of the affected coins. This piece evidently fell through the cracks and escaped the mint in a bag with ordinary Sacagawea dollars. The discovery of the piece took place in 2019 when it was found in a bag of mixed dollar coins obtained from a bank. It has expected light abrasions and signs of high point, frictions that are to be expected of a circulation find, but satiny luster remains and the significance of the coin vastly overshadows in regard to its grade. Sold on April 24, 2021 for $84,000 at Heritage Auctions. This 1919 S Liberty of Dollar condition rare tank key date at mid day 65 plus. This issue is one of the conditional key dates in the series, plentiful in grades up to MS64 but rare any finer. While sharply defined examples are easily to locate than the 1919D, collectors are advised to choose wisely for a sharp strike, passing on the many other examples that have been poorly struck. Both sides exhibit sharply detailed motifs and brilliant silver luster with no toning on either side. Sold on May 5th, 2022 for $31,200 at 30 auctions. Moving on to another error coin, 1979D Anthony Dollar, overstruck on a 1978 Roosevelt dime. Great at Misty 66 by NGC. An uncommon double denomination combination, Roosevelt faces south relative to the portrait of the feminist. The sprigs of the dime overlap the eagle's breast and claws. Trace of the dime date and the meat mark are apparent near the ER in Liberty. The dollar date is of the flan and the meat mark area is covered by one of the NGC's holder tabs. Sold on April 29, 2016 for $11,750 at Heritage Auctions. Here is 1968 Roosevelt dime with missing meat mark, so-called no S dime. Great as PR67 cameo by PCGS. The United States resumed proof set offerings in 1968 after a three year hiatus. Perhaps because of the special mint sets had been struck at the San Francisco mint in the interim. In the interim, it was decided to strike the new proofs at that location in 1968. According to all proofs, were supposed to have an S mint mark. Dice for coinage were produced in Philadelphia and shipped to the branch mint for the use and production. The mint mark was inadvertently left off on one of the dies intended for use on the proof times and small number of times were struck and released with the sets before the mistake was noticed. The June 28, 1968 edition of Coin World announced the discovery of no S proofs. Probably around two dozen examples are known to numismatists today, an issue is avidly sought by serious specialists and error collectors alike. This spectacular super gem exhibits fully struck design elements and virtually flawless surfaces with a few delicate hints of pale green tonic. The deeply reflective fields contrast boldly with the frosty devices and eye appeal is terrific. Sold on October 15, 2020 for $19,200. And for the last, these 1990 proof Lincoln set was missing meat mark S. Great as proof 69 with deep cameo designation, the 1990 no S Lincoln sense are in much demand from the segment of collecting public that endeavors to assemble the next impossible complete no S modern proof set. Such a set will include some exceedingly rare issues, most notably the 1968 no S proof Roosevelt times I've mentioned before of which fewer than two dozen likely survive in all grades. Among Lincoln Memorial Sands, the 1919 NOS is only missing meat mark proof variety. This piece is sparkling orange red with absolutely no mentionable flaws, as expected. Sold on April 24, 2014 for $11,162.50 at Heritage Auction.